Hey guys, uh, welcome to this uh, uh, this uh, Sabbath day. So happy Sabbath! Let me um, talk to my sister very quick. And um, you know it, it's it's so amazing how God changed these things. And by the way, I am using a cough drop. Because I, I'm, I'm uh, having some uh, sore throat. Okay. You want. And so. Um. So for the distraction here. Okay. Anywho, so today we're gonna to get into Job chapter twenty-five through twenty. Uh, Job chapter twenty-five to twenty twenty-eight today. And this whole deal uh, deals with the issue of suffering and the question of why the righteous suffer. And so we're going to take a look at these uh, scriptures. And let's examine them. Amen. All right. So let's listen to the word. Chapter 25. Then answered Bildad the Shuhite and said, Oh, we got to pray first. Let's go ahead and do that really quick and then get into the word. Hey, dear Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for the day. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the sacrifice that you did at the cross. That 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 you paid the price so that we can, so that we can be set free, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for the compassion, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your blood that washes all the way our on righteousness and and sin. And uh, we praise you. We glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. All right, let's get into the word. Dominion and fear are with him. He maketh peace in his high places. Is there any number of his armies? And upon whom doth not his light arise? It's over. Chapter 25 Then answered Bildad the Shuhite and said, Dominion and fear are with him. He maketh peace in his high places. Is there any number of his armies? And upon whom doth not his light arise? How then can man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? Behold, even to the moon, and it shineth not. Yea, the stars are not pure in his sight. How much less man that is a worm, and the son of man which is a worm? Interesting. Interesting. Chapter 26. But Job answered and said, How hast thou helped him that is without power? How savest thou the arm that hath no strength? How hast thou counseled him that hath no wisdom? And how hast thou plentifully declared the thing as it is? To whom hast thou uttered words? And whose spirit came from thee? Dead things are formed from under the waters, and the inhabitants thereof. Hell is naked before him, and destruction hath no covering. He stretcheth out the north over the empty place, and hangeth the earth upon nothing. He bindeth up the waters in his thick clouds, and the cloud is not rent under them. He holdeth back the face of his throne, and spreadeth his cloud upon it. He hath compassed the waters with bounds, until the day and night come to an end. The pillars of heaven tremble and are astonished at his reproof. He divideth the sea with his power, and by his understanding he smiteth through the proud. By his spirit he hath garnished the heavens, his hand hath formed the crooked serpent. Lo, these are parts of his ways, but how little a portion is heard of him! But the thunder of his power, who can understand? Chapter 27 Moreover, Job continued his parable, and said, As God liveth, 
who hath taken away my judgment, and the Almighty, who hath vexed my soul. All the while my breath is in me, and the Spirit of God is in my nostrils. My lips shall not speak wickedness, nor my tongue utter deceit. God forbid that I should justify you. Till I die, I will not remove mine integrity from me. My righteousness I hold fast, and will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me so long as I live. Let mine enemy be as the wicked, and he that riseth up against me as the unrighteous. For what is the hope of the hypocrite, though he hath gained when God taketh away his soul? Will God hear his cry when trouble cometh upon him? Will he delight himself in the Almighty? Will he always call upon God? I will teach you by the hand of God. That which is with the Almighty will I not conceal. Behold, all ye yourselves have seen it. Why then are ye thus altogether vain? This is the portion of a wicked mm. man with God, and the heritage of oppressors which they shall receive of the Almighty. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death and his widows shall not weep. Though he heap up silver as the dust, and prepare raiment as the clay, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall divide the silver. He buildeth his house as a moth, and as a booth that the keeper maketh. The rich man shall lie down, but he shall not be gathered. He openeth his eyes, and he is not. Terrors take hold on him as waters. A tempest stealeth him away in the night. The east wind carrieth him away, and he departeth. And as a storm hurleth him out of his place. For God shall cast upon him, and not spare. He would fain flee out of his hand. Men shall clap their hands at him, and shall hiss him out of his place. Amen. A chapter... Chapter 28 Surely there is a vein for the silver, and a place for gold where they find it. Iron is taken out of the earth, and brass is molten out of the stone. He setteth an end to darkness, and searcheth out all perfection, the stones of darkness and the shadow of death. The flood breaketh out from the inhabitant, even the waters forgotten of the foot. They are dried up, they are gone away from men. As for the earth, out of it cometh bread, and under it is turned up as it were fire. The stones of it are the place of sapphires, and it hath dust of gold. There is a path which no fowl knoweth, and which the vulture's eye hath not seen. The lion's whelps have not trodden it, nor the fierce lion passed by it. He putteth forth his hand upon the rock. He overturneth the mountains by the roots. He cutteth out rivers among the rocks, and his eye seeth every precious thing. He bindeth the floods from overflowing, and the thing that is hid bringeth he forth to light. But where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the price thereof, neither is it found in the land of the living. The depth saith, It is not in me. And the sea saith, It is not with me. It cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof. It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir, with the precious onyx or the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it, and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it, neither shall it be valued with pure gold. Whence then cometh wisdom? And where is the place of understanding, seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living, and kept close from the fowls of the air? Destruction and death say, We have heard the fame thereof with our ears. God understandeth mm. the way thereof, and he knoweth the place thereof. For he looketh to the ends of the earth, and seeth under the whole heaven, to make the weight for the winds. And he weigheth the waters by measure. When he made a decree for the rain, and a way for the lightning of the thunder, then did he see it, and declare it, 
he prepared it, yea, and searched it out. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quickly, um, chapter 25, the bad dad, uh, man cannot be righteous. And in chapter 26, we see Job responds, who can understand God's, uh, majesty? And in chapter 27, we see Job affirms his, uh, dignity in the wicked man's portion. And then in chapter 28, we see where can wisdom be found. Very, very interesting chapters, I should say. While Baghdad argues that human wisdom is futile in comparison to God's power, Job acknowledged the limitations of human wisdom and looks to God as the source of true wisdom. That's the whole purpose of these chapters, is to see, you know, our wisdom is very, very limited, but yet God's wisdom is far greater than our own. Amen. And so that's why we ask God for wisdom, not because we don't have the wisdom to do, you know, certain things, but God gives us wisdom to not only to apply the Word of God into our lives, but to apply principles that God establishes through His Word. Can I get an amen? <clears throat> very, very crucial. Very, very crucial. Um, I'm going to go ahead and order my food really quick. Mm. I don't spend too much money though. That's the thing. It's very, very tricky. Um. Hmm. Very, very tricky, but anyway, yeah, so that's all that's the whole premise of this chapter. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh video. Uh may God bless you, may God keep you. See you guys again next time. Bye.